Yes, good evening, my friends. I hope all is well. Yes, how are you finding Luga Lady Lessons? Are you getting something? I hope all is fine. So, today I want to introduce to you how we say or how we use personal pronouns while we are constructing sentences yes uh, personal pronouns in Kiswahili they are called viwakilishi nafs viwakilishi mm. nafs of course we all know there are three personal pronouns in Kiswahili first second and third person pronoun and each person pronoun has a singular and a plural form the first person it is me eh? me all i and me all i that is me 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 kiswahili and then when we put it in plural i i becomes we and we in kiswahili is cc and remember me me that is me yes it is represented by ni ni yes then we cc in kiswahili is represented by two for example look at these sentences down here they are telling us mimi nina itwa jelemi remember we said mimi is represented by ni hope you can see that down there and then mimi nina itwa jeremy i'm called jeremy my name is jeremy then we want to put this sentence in plural we are going to use cc with the help of two that represents we in plural that is cc tunaitwa jeremy I hope you're seeing how we use ni in singular and tu in plural. That is the first person pronoun. We come to second person pronoun. Second person pronoun is you. You who is reading this. You. And you in Kiswahili is we we. And this is represented by you, U, letter U, yes, as in you. Then when we come to plural of this U, of course it has to be you. That is in plural. And you in plural is called Nyinyi. Au, Nyinyi. If you don't call it Nyinyi, you call it Nyinyi. And which is represented by the letter M. We shall see how they use these letters down here in these sentences. For example, we are seeing wewe unaitwa Jeremy. You are called Jeremy. Your name is Jeremy. Eh? Are you seeing how we used wewe and u that represents you in a sentence? Then we want to see how we can transform this sentence into plural form. Mm? Remember, we said wewe is nini ini kururo. Nini muna itwa jelemi. You are, you, that is all of you. Hmm? You are called jelemi. Your names are jelemi. So, I hope you are seeing how we use the nini and letter M in this sentence. Then we even have the third person pronoun. The third person pronoun is he or she. Mm? Yeah, yeah. He or she. Yeah, yeah. All him, all her. Yes. And that is represented by a. Ah. A. Ah. Are you seeing it? Then yeah, yeah in plural is wow. In English is they, nourish them. Hmm? 
represented by wa for example we want to see how we can construct sentences out of these yeye anaitwa jeremy remember we said yeye is represented by a while constructing a sentence i hope you're getting it then we even have uh we want to see if yeye anaitwa jeremy then how about hmm? how about if it is in plural if it's in plural of course it has to be wao wanaitwa jeremy hmm? they are called jeremy their names are jeremy Oof. this topic is amazing right yes so if you get this please you should give me a thumbs up mm? look at this table below here there is first person second i have summarized it for you read 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 the summary summary of this mm? yes so you can go ahead and read through you know read through make some 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 comments summarize and then we see where it's going to take us today's lesson was amazing and i hope you get it better remember this is luga lady don't forget to subscribe like comment and give us give us a thumbs a thumbs up let us see where you found the problem yes if it's a credit worth give it i sign out thanks for tuning in and please stay updated see you guys